what's up everybody welcome back and uh, it's been a little bit since we threw something out so a uh, friend of mine brought by some uh, longer dampening rods for his crf 110 uh, in addition to that we're doing a bunch of other stuff with this bike uh, doing some brakes did a little quick valve adjustment and uh, replacing a tube so anyway what we're going to be doing today is putting these bbr uh, extended damping rods in the uh, in his forks and here we've got the forks so just a little disclaimer um, what you do want to do before you take these forks off is you want to while they're in the cl triple clamps is loosen that nut right there i believe it's a 17 millimeter so just break that loose while it's still in the clamps uh, before you get started and then uh, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, get the video going here and show you guys how to do this all right guys so um we actually just did fork seals on on jared's uh bike not too long ago so we're gonna try and save some money retain the uh the oil that's in here so the first thing we're gonna do take your uh allen and you're gonna break this this nut loose on the bottom okay now we're gonna grab our oil catch So that's good, nice clean fluid. We're gonna get all this fluid out of here. Um, if you ever kind of expand into things other than dirt bikes, these forks and the way you do the seals and, and these smaller bike forks, believe it or not, are the same as like your Harley forks. Um, so if you can do fork seals in these, uh, it actually translates right over to like a Harley style uh, fork. So we're gonna get all the oil out of here. Best we can. And we're just gonna do the, the single fork and then obviously this this will go over to the other one. So we're only gonna do show the one on camera today. Um, Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Okay. And then the cap. That we loosened earlier. Let's see, can't get it by hand. But we'll grab it with the uh, 17 wrench. Spin this guy off. Alright. So we've got our top cap here. Should have our spring next. Okay. And we're doing this all above the uh, oil here so we can catch as much as we can. There's a little washer that's on top of the uh, that was on top of the spring. And then from there we should be able to slide out our damping rod. And this is the part that we're gonna replace. and catch as much of that oil as we can. So here's our the stock damping rod. Here's our rebound spring on the bottom. All right. So side by side comparison, here's the old damping rod. Here's the new one. So that is actually, it's about an inch, inch and a half is what you're gonna actually get uh, in terms of uh, travel in, in the bike. So. It's pretty simple, we're just gonna swap these out, put this one in, take this one out, chuck it, whatever we wanna do. And uh, so now it's just as simple as basically putting everything back together in the reverse order. If you didn't do, for, if we didn't just do fork seals on this bike, I would say you might as well do them now. It's not a bad idea to, well, you've already got, basically got them torn apart to do that, but we're not gonna worry about that today. All right guys, so once again, just a quick little side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the difference in the BBR damping rod compared to the stock. Uh, looks like we are going to have to reuse this um, little plastic bushing up there because I don't see one in the new kit. I'll double check. But um, So now we're just going to go ahead and put the thing back together in the reverse order. Alright guys, so here is our little plastic bushing that we took off of the stock and that little groove right there. We're going to go ahead and put that on our new one. Fits right on there, fits nice. 
Um, get a little suspension clean. I always like to clean the fork tube um, before I put anything back together. Um, get rid of any dirt and anything that could get drug up in there. And then we are basically just, at this point, we are going to put this back together. Rebound spring slides on. This is going to slide back down into the fork tube. All the way down. You can hear that hit the bottom. Uh, then reverse order. We're going to put our spring in. We did not do larger springs. You can uh, do bigger springs on these as well. Uh, we did not opt for that. Um, this go around but that's something that this customer can do later on uh, if he wants he was bottoming out pretty bad which is the reason why we're doing the damping rods then goes the washer on top of the spring and then goes our little bushing here okay and then we are going to uh, add our fork fluid back in after we put the nut back on the bottom which is right here so we might as well do that now We're going to add our fork cap back on. You want to check this O-ring on the top, but again, we just redid uh, everything on these on these forks, so these should be fine. Oh. Hey, we don't even uh, edit out the uh, mistakes here. <laughs> go ahead and take your 17. Go ahead and just get this snugged up on top. And this is actually, if you put in new springs, this might be a little bit more difficult because the spring is actually probably going to be higher out of the tube. So you're really going to have to push down on this cap when you uh, when you thread it back on to the uh, the top of the tube here. At this point, we are going to just clean up the bottom here a little bit. Get the uh, Allen threaded back in. Got our Pedro's T handle here. Help us with that. Okay. And then the reason we didn't tighten down this the top fork tube was because we're going to need to break this loose again so we can add the fork oil. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And, uh, and then once we've got that fork oil added, we will be putting this thing back on the bike. Alright guys, now we're going to loosen that 17 on the top of this again so we can get our fork oil added into this thing. Safety flip flops on. Okay. Make sure all that doesn't fall out. Grab our funnel. And um, obviously, whatever you use to catch this oil, uh, I obviously use this for a lot of different oils, but make sure you wipe this thing out so the only thing that's in here is fork, fork fluid. So we're going to go ahead and add this back in. Pull our funnel. Come down a little bit. We still got our make sure our bushing came off here with our funnel. And then we're going to put our cap back on. Come on. There we go. And we're just going to snug this up again because once we get in the triple clamps, we can torque it but I usually don't like putting a lot of torque on these to begin with, just tight is good enough. And there you go. So that's a uh, quick and easy way to, to uh, change out your damping rods. It really only takes, as you can see, I mean, there wasn't a lot of editing in this video. This was, uh, this took all of about five minutes. So um, hopefully happy customer and the bike's gonna ride a little bit better. And uh, so good luck when you do yours. We'll see you on the next one. So a couple things in closing guys that I, I kind of want to mention, you can see the, the um, forks are disassembled again um, and I'll tell you the reason why. Um, just a few things, uh, I disassembled them again and they're just waiting here because um, there's a couple things you can do if you're bottoming out your forks on these 110s if you're a bigger guy like myself or most people that have them these days um, to give you more travel to keep them from bottoming out so obviously you saw that we put in the damper rod um, 
you know, upgrade. That's one way to do it. Uh, or there's a combination of things you can do. Um, the cheapest thing you can do off the bat, which probably won't keep it from bottoming out, but it'll give you maybe a little bit more resistance, is you can do a heavier weight fork oil. So the BBR kit recommends if you're above 150 pounds to go to like a 15 weight. Uh, if you're above 200 pounds, you want to go to a 20 weight. So that's why I pulled these apart again because I am going to suggest to the customer that we also go with a heavier weight uh, oil in these instead of using the, I think we only used the 10 weight when we went back in because I think that's stock. Um, so we, and then, so there's those three things. You can do the damping rod um, extensions. You can go to heavier springs. Uh, or a heavier weight of oil, or a combination of all three, or all three. So those are things you can do um, to help your CRFs or KLX 110s or anything, give it some more suspension and uh, a little bit um, more resistance when you're when you're starting to launch these things. So, uh, and then the other thing I don't think I covered when we were doing this was the reason you want to put everything back together. Um, you know, when we're going through the process there. Um, and instead of just trying to line up the Allen bolt in the bottom is because when you put everything back together and just snug it up it's actually compressing the damping rod down to the bottom and that's actually what that Allen is threading into so once you thread that back in then you can back then well, obviously we opened it back up again and then added our oil and then closed the whole system back back again but I just want to explain why you do that uh, it's a lot easier when everything is together in one piece and the springs and everything are pushing resistance and pushing that damper rod down to the bottom of the fork tube um, uh, to be able to get that Allen to thread back in. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, good luck. Again, if you, uh, this is really a quick and, and on a level of one to five, I give it probably a one in terms of difficulty to, to do this. So don't be, don't be afraid to try this yourself at home and uh, we will catch you guys on the next one.